know, so let's chat about some stuff. The market's kind of much, pretty much fallen. I mean, no doubt about that. And I think we still got a long, a little bit ways to go. We are at a really, really critical level. And the fact that this bounced uh, today, or I guess Friday, was not that um, surprising, I guess. We are at 400 on the spy and this huge diagonal trend line we're looking at weekly candles. We got one, two interactions here right before COVID or before like a crash in like 2000, um, the 2008 like downturn, or sorry, 2018. Then we go pull back um, right before or after COVID and then now we're back at this trend line. So this is super valid and the fact that it's at $400 is interesting. Um, you know, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six weeks of just downward from 450 to 400. Basically, 11% drop. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes up to, you know, 410, maybe pulls back, maybe even goes up to 430. I don't think we get back to 450, so maybe we get to here. I guess I can get rid of this now. Next move, maybe we go up to here. I suppose this will get rejected and then we eventually probably go down to the 350. I mean, we're talking like months from now, probably definitely weeks. I mean, the market moves fast. Um, but yeah, that's my anticipation. I, I think we got to see even a lower support area. Um, yeah, I just think this, this one makes sense. I mean, why is this valid? One, two, three. Yeah, I, this is definitely a valid trend line. Let's actually make a little bit longer. The low channel that would be here, I I don't know if we fall another like 25% to there. I mean, I mean, maybe we like grind to it over years, but I think from like a downward fall movement, I, I think we see this line here. But yeah, I would not be surprised if the next month or two, and it takes a little while, um, the market pulls up to some other level, and then, yeah, correct. So yeah, maybe we get some chop it around here, but ultimately I think we still go a little bit lower. Again, I'm not a super bull or bear. I'm just, I just think whatever you know, I am also adding, I did add, I actually added back into Uranium Equatribu on Friday, no, no, Thursday. I added at 5.13, so actually all the way down here, geez. Um, not a big position though, but yeah. I've been buying Walgreens. Um, I really want to hope this comes down to 40 bucks. I, technically, it should, like, from a technical perspective, go to monthly candles, like, we're just in this purgatory zone. Why are we not at 40? So once it hits 40, I will be adding a little bit bigger position, probably. I like, I like the company. I think it's pretty cheap. Intel, been adding Intel here and there. We're going back to weekly candles. I think it just looks better. We're really at this super low five-year support, so I'm I'm like all in basically. I sure right now I'm down. Um, even though I've been adding down, I'm happily adding down, but I'm down about eleven percent, twelve percent. I mean, does it stink? Yeah, whatever. I, I don't really think it matters. Um, even if it does fall to like forty again, I still have money on the sidelines. I'm at. I am at what am I at? Twenty percent? Is it like it's like eighteen percent maybe cash still? And I've been adding. I can easily get this up to another, yeah, definitely like another maybe 25-30% cash just sitting on the sidelines, but I don't have it in the portfolio. I did end up selling AEM right before this fall. I was, um, I just wanted some extra cash and for some reason I was just like, AEM, you're gonna go, so I just did that. Um, I did add a little to AG, I was like, oh, that's getting really cheap, um, so I'm gonna now my average price is like 12, just under 12, maybe a little, yeah, like right here. Um, yeah, we're down a lot. This thing did fall, like, almost got cut in half in, like, a month. Absolutely crazy. Like, man, it's hard owning these things, to be honest. It's very hard. One day you're up, the next you're down. Also, this, I'm in at 580, so right now I'm down, like, 25% KGC, another gold miner. Um, I, I thought we were, we got the break here. We got the pullback uh, retest on the candle weekly candle and then we just plummeted so I don't know man it's, it's just rough out there Foot Locker did not do any buying or any adding oh they have earnings soon like two weeks a week about uh, uranium I mean sorry I'm just flipping through a lot of stuff but these are the things I have CCJ look at that we're at this bottom trend line again I was gonna add um, whatever day it touched it I guess this day that's when I bought the you, 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 but um, I should have added here, 
CCJ is not necessarily like that, but I guess UEC would be the other one. Here we got, uh, this looks a little bit bad, but up here, we gotta push you above, try to break above five. I think the next time we test five, we go up to probably six at least. Like, an, and hold above five is what I meant to say. Let me get a nice sip of matcha tea. Always the perfect tempo, nice. Um, okay, so in this video, I do want to run through, sorry if I'm talking a little fast. Oh yeah, Verizon. I also did buy Verizon. I am down a lot though. I am down almost 10 bucks, no, 48 now. I guess it was at 44, it's down like 20%, but I am down like 10%. dividend though I think 
reason why I know that is because of um, Intel is the same dividend. It's about half the price, so yeah, it's about three percent on one aim. It's got a AutoZone. Wow, AutoZone's just been pumping. So again, we are looking at five-year time frames. Whoops. Oh, why did that do that? AZO had removed it from the list. Okay. Boeing. Wow. Very depressing. Blackberry. Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay. Baidu. Big Lots. Bumble. Wow. Wow. This thing was at 80 bucks at IPO. BP. I'm surprised with BP. Despite all the uh, oil stuff popping off. Um, but they're not. And I guess that has something more to do with the locations of their, um, what do you call it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess it's just not the, the optimal play in the uh, market, or the oil market. Berkshire Hathaway is pulling back a little bit. That had a big run up though. Caterpillar's finally chopping around since COVID. It's just been going straight up. Carnival Cruise, Church Doy, Clorox. Yeah, Clorox 110, I'm looking at it, but I don't, I, I yeah, I still, not said, but I anticipated it was going to bounce at 140. It did drop, but um, it is sort of bouncing around here. I guess on bigger time frames, though. Uh, Chipotle, why is this so expensive still? Like, this Chipotle, uh, I, I don't know, the multiple, okay. Corsair, kind of eyeing it up and eyed up for a while. It got, now it's just, it's so cheap right now. What, what market cap are we even at? Can I see? 1.4 billion market cap. I have to re yeah, I really gotta look at these companies again. Because they're just getting super, super, super cheap. Crowd strike. Uh, Cisco. CBS Chevron. Had a big run up. I'm still in Exxon all the way. They didn't sell anything. It's carrying the portfolio. DoorDash. That's just these companies I don't think can make money. Or at least they can. Okay, this is, uh, oh my gosh, a negative 47 PE again. I don't know the context, but that's insane. What? I just, I, can't, I don't think these companies, like DoorDash, um, Uber, I mean, even Spotify, they're, they're, I don't think they're bad company ideas. I think just making them profitable is very, very hard. And as an investor, putting some multiple on that, like above, like, any, like, like a, a crazy multiple on the, the potential earnings is stupid. Again, that's my investing thoughts. I'm not saying it's like golden and it's right. I'm just saying I just don't see how this company can ever make money. So, yeah. Different conversation for another video. Dropbox. Bob. Uh, DD. John. Uh, was that John Deere? No, just the Deere. Why do I think John Deere? Yeah, this, um, I'm so happy I got out of this one. I did. I wish I got out sooner so I kept my profits, but yeah, this thing, wait, this thing's at 100 bucks. Wow. And it pulled back to 100 bucks. That's surprising. I did not think it would fall this much. This is basically cut in half from the eyes. Um, do I want it though? So, my. My predicted cost in like five years is 140, so yeah, I still think this has got to go down. I mean, I said at 100 bucks, it looks pretty spicy, but um, yeah, 80 bucks, maybe. Yeah, I think if the market does fall, this thing will probably fall too. So, oh, they had earnings too. This thing should go. I mean, there's a lot of political stuff going on with the company now that. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that in the video, but just just is what it is, and I don't know if I care. About
alive is like I don't see that as a support area, so Let's see where it goes. FedEx, I pulled the locker and talked about that. Wow, far fetched look at that. Oh my god. What the heck happened to this thing? I, was, I mean I haven't really been paying attention, but nine bucks from like seventy down like eighty seven percent. Jeez. General dynamics, G General Mills. probably gonna keep falling but Barrett called pulling back it really should have probably held that zone the fact that it's pulling back that far is interesting Google yep yeah, definitely eyeing up Google I said 2250 was my buy zone it did hit it however I'm, I think I need to be patient here I think the markets look like I don't want to make any big investment or I mean I guess it's all relative again but I don't I don't want to add too much of anything. Um, if I think the market, especially tech, is going to get a little bit of a revaluation. So, I think uh, we pull back to probably 2K. That's my thing. Maybe over the next month or so, we pull back 2K. Maybe it coincides with this. I, I don't know. But 2K, I think I'm pretty happy owning. 2250, I'm like, eh. Hasbro is still in this zone. They actually increased their dividend to 70 cents in interest. It's the Home Depot pulling back. That thing's so expensive. I, I don't understand. HP, IBM, Intel. I talked about Intel, iRobot. J J, JP Morgan at 100 bucks. I might be buying that. I get not a buy recommendation. Just saying I might be buying. Coke continues to go up, yet it's so expensive. Like, like how much growth are people anticipating in Coke? I, I don't understand. Uh, oh, Coles did fall a lot, even though it had that rip up. Lockheed's still up there. Logitech is actually getting more interesting. I, I never pulled the trigger on this. I'm kind of happy I did because I get it for cheaper now if I do want it. Um, I have to reevaluate this company, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, yeah, I don't remember exactly what I liked about it, but I gotta go back. I know they have like no debt. They're making some pretty good money. They got some good products. Southwest, uh, yeah, it's a good lift. Another one lift. I don't see how this company will ever be money. And in the last what? Since 2019, it has not had a positive quarter yet. Um, yeah. That's enough. Don't see us gonna make money. MasterCard's had a pretty big trend line. McDonald's hasn't really moved at all to the downward side. Wow. MGM, 3M. 3M at 140 or below. Probably below 140, I might be batting. MO, Moderna, Morgan Stanley, Microsoft. Breaking that trend line. NEM, wow, big pullback. And Netflix, yeah, this, this is a disaster. This is, um, I don't know exactly what happened here, but, um, all I know is it was definitely expensive up here. I'm surprised it fell here, like, this fast, but then it fell again that fast. Like, that's, that's rough. Oh, I'm sorry if anyone owns this, but again, I think this company's good. I think the business model's good. I don't. I think the valuation the market was putting on it, on the multiple, on the amount of money they could potentially earn, was stupidly high. And uh, yeah, that's that's just it. That's why I never bought it. I guess I did buy it, but just for a trade, and it was a while ago. Neo too, just falling. Nike. Surprised NVIDIA broke that trend line though, but probably going to 125, 130, maybe back to you know, 100. There's no support, so I think whatever this is, like 130 trend line. All Realty looking to buy still. Oracle pulling back. Um, yeah, let's skip these. Pepsi continues to go higher again. I don't. It's not as expensive as a Coke, I think, but it's still pretty expensive. Uh, Procter Gamble, Pinterest. Insane. These things are actually.
actually getting like really cheap or like back to like what they probably should be should have been trading at anyway Palantir yeah this this is a sad one uh, blog yeah same thing I actually I'm not gonna watch this anymore this is just like
evaluation I had to have. I really gotta go back and look at these things. Wow, these things fell a lot. Oh yeah, Tupperware fell a lot. I, I almost bought Tupperware because I was like, oh, this company doesn't seem that bad. But I'm happy I did it. <laughs> like, this is a while ago, like this summer, so... So here, here we got Twitter. Yeah, I think Elon said the deal's on hold or something. Here's Uber. Uber's not making all-time lows, but they did lose $3 per share last quarter. Why so much? They had a positive quarter year, but again, they probably just sold a bunch of shares. All the beauty, UPS. What's Visa doing? Okay. WBD, Warner Brothers, so. Workhorse, workhorse is at $2. Oh my gosh. Oh my, this is like, jeez. Walmart, wind resort, something See, Zoom getting destroyed too. Silo. Oh yeah, yeah, take two bought, uh, see, Zynga, Zynga, whatever. Yeah. That's also one thing I liked about the company. Exxon is still pumping. What's this whirlpool? Uh, let me go to my investing list really quick. Wow, things, yeah, I, I think I gotta start making some plays. Actually, I gotta be patient. I still think we go a little lower. I don't, again, I don't want to miss the opportunity of buying things that are low. That's why I'm adding here and there. But I think, like things like Stag, or O Realty, I think I, I'm very happy waiting. I don't I don't want it up here. I want it down here. But like take two, it's at the zone. I think it's fine, and it might go down. It might do this and that, but mm, this is definitely at the zone that I wanted it a while ago. Uh, so we'll have to have to play this out. Gold and silver. We actually didn't talk about. It. I'm very surprised it fell this hard and this fast. Silver's out of this zone. This is bad. I don't think we're gonna rip back up. I think we consolidate here. And I, yeah, it's just not looking too good. Wow, things are cheap. Wow, I gotta, I gotta meet with my friend in a little bit. Yeah, he just messaged me now. We gotta chat about the market. <sighs> All right, well, let me know some stuff below. What you guys are watching? What are you buying? Are you selling? Hopefully, uh, Hopefully you guys got some money laying around um, in case you want to buy some stuff because things are getting pretty cheap. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and hanging out and relaxing. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.